Hi guys, once again, welcome back to my channel, Advanced Technology Verana. We are in the configuration process of Cisco Call Manager uh, version 15.1 uh, SU2. And uh, this is the series for our uh, call manager deployment, not as a demo, but a real time implementation. And we are following all the protocols, all the standard, which is required for the deployment of any Cisco call manager in any enterprise, small, medium, or large environment. So, so far we have uh, done around uh, what I will do a quick review. We have done almost uh, seven episodes for this uh, configuration series. And uh, we are doing this from the scratch level. Like this is the, uh, the absolutely uh, fresh installation and in the real time environment. The reason I always prefer to have real time implementation because the things what is required to do in the real time environment plus the troubleshooting plus the issue and plus the experience what you uh, get from the real time implementation you could not achieve in the demo or in a lab environment because your mental approach is totally different when you are doing something in your lab environment you ignore a lot of things you are not serious in your work you feel that it's not a real time environment so absolutely you are not uh, like in 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 your active state of mind to learn the things and to deliver the things so that's why when you are doing something in your real time environment you all you are always alert you always follow the standard you always be take care for all the things what you are doing because you know there is no step back when you are doing in a real time implementation. Uh, so guys, uh, before starting our IP phone uh, registration process in the Cisco call manager, I want to share something very important. And before doing this one, it is not possible that your IP phone get registered and communicate with your Cisco call manager. For sure, when you're doing this deployment in your real time environment, in your, uh, in your uh, even if it is a green field or gray field, of there is a firewall there are some security devices in terms of palo alto 40 gate cisco ice and uh, uh, other brands for the firewall so you have to allow some ports on the firewall uh, to communicate your ip phone with your call manager this sheet i will do one thing i will attach in the description so let me just give you a quick review the first table which i have created here it is written as Cisco call manager IP phone and uh, IP between phone and Cisco call manager. Okay. So if you want to register your IP phone with your Cisco call manager and you have uh, somewhere in between firewall, this ports I mentioned as from to uh, listener, which is my uh, call manager. And this is my IP phone. Okay. And the ports here and I mentioned the role or purpose of these ports. So you have to allow uh, this one in the same order from your IP phone to your Cisco call manager or your for call manager to your IP phone, vice versa. So make sure you have provided all these uh, ports to your security team, uh, and IT network security team. So they will allow this communication on the firewall level. Otherwise, you cannot do uh, the IP phone registration with the call manager. And now in the second table, I mentioned about your communication between your gateway and call manager. Of course, you have a gateway, how you will reach your SIP trunk to the outside world. So in that case, these ports you have to allow on the firewall from this source, which is your gateway or call manager and to the other way around. So this gateway, this call manager, you have to allow this port and vice versa. Okay, two way communication, which we call it. So make sure you have provided uh, these ports to your IT security uh, to communicate between the gateway, which is your voice gateway and your Cisco call manager. The third table is a common service port. You can also provide this uh, table to your IT security. So they will allow uh, these ports uh, on the firewall level to make your successful. The purpose of each and everything is mentioned over here. So you can get reference. The third thing, if you have LDAP, you have domain. Of course, if you are enterprise or medium level company, you have LDAP, you have a domain. So, and you have uh, you have a number of uh, employees in hundreds or thousand. So you could not do everything one by one. So what you will do, you will integrate 
your call manager with your LDAP. In that situation, you have to allow these ports in between uh, your Cisco uh, call manager and your external directory, which is LDAP on this protocol. Okay, so this is the thing. I will share this. Uh, I, I will put the link for this uh, this Excel sheet in the description, so you can get reference from there. So now, quick, uh, quickly, we'll come to our switch level. So guys, uh, now I will create the IP pool on my uh, on my code switch. Why I need an IP pool uh, for the purpose of the DHCP? Because my IP phone will take IP address from the DHCP. So now there are two options. Either you go uh, with the, the DHCP in your environment, but normally I will not suggest to go with the DHCP uh, server itself uh, because it is always one hop uh, next to your call manager. Your call manager is directly connected with your, your core switch or aggregation switch. So it's better to have this pool on the core switch. So I will just make a simple command before I will make some uh, exclude address for the range. IP DHCP exclude address. Okay, I will provide the range, uh, especially my gateway and some of the IP which I does not require to have uh, the part of the DHCP pool. So I'll make it 60.1, then 10 to 1, 60.10. Okay, and uh, I will exclude one more IP address, which is 254. This one because I want maybe for some testing purpose. So I will exclude some IPs from this pool. The next command is IP DHCP pool. I'll make it voice underscore CUCM. Okay, I'll put the network address. 10.2.2.160.0.255.255 this is the subnet of my IP phone okay after that I will mention here uh, the option 150 this option 150 is uh, for the call manager so uh, my uh, switch will assign this uh, VLAN to the IP phone and IP phone will get the IP address of the publisher and subscriber okay so I will mention this one Okay. IP. Okay, simple as that. And I can mention here the DNS address as well. DNS server. Okay. And default router. Okay. This is the address of either my 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 firewall or my core switch because how I, my IP phone will reach uh, to the gateway. Okay, simple as that. So I will come over here. Let's see, show run section DHCP. So IP address exclude. This way I'll make the pool. Uh, this one option I mentioned as 150 uh, for the address for this one and uh, DNS server and default router. Okay, so I have done this one. I will save my configuration. Okay, now I'll come to quickly to my Cisco call manager and I will show you how we will make uh, our first time IP phone registration. Okay, so first time when you will log in uh, to your Cisco call manager, you will see this type of uh, some warning messages because uh, now the new Cisco call manager uh, should have license on the SSM, which is smart software manager. It is a separate server where you put your all the unified uh, licenses and your call manager will sync with your with your SSM. We will see this one in the later video. Okay, so right now, if you, if you see over here, device, phone, you see, I do not have any IP phone registered at this moment. Few things we have to make sure uh, when you first time login, just go on the system, Cisco Unified CM, check here, your publisher and subscriber is visible here. Then you will see here for your CSEM group, okay? And you will see over here that default option, you, your both IP phone, uh, sorry, both uh, call manager are mentioned as a group. So uh, what I will do now, uh, once uh, you will uh, do a fresh installation, 
ऑफिस को कॉल मैनेजर यू हैव टू अनेबल द सर्विसेज विदाउट डूइंग द सर्विसेज योर आई पी फोन विल नॉट बी रजिस्टर्ड बिकॉज सम ऑफ द सर्विसेज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो आई गो क्विकली ओवर हेयर इन योर पब्लिशर एंड आई गो हेयर विद द सर्विसबिलिटी आई गो ओवर हेयर एंड आई गो इन द टूल्स सर्विस एक्टिवेशन ओके विल गो ओवर द सर्विस एक्टिविशन एंड आई कम ओवर हेयर विद द पब्लिशर एंड यू विल सी हेयर द डिफॉल्ट all the services are not enabled okay you see it is a, a location based tracking service directory services security services performance and monitor cdr services uh, cti services and the cisco call manager services so there are two ways either you select all your services this way or you will just make set to default okay it will only select your important services which is required uh, immediately to get your ip phone registered okay my advice go for this one or you can select all it's up to you but at least set to default i'll make it safe it will take some time to get this uh, services activated okay so i'll come back here service activation cucm voice okay so these services are enable same thing i will do with here with the subscriber okay you you do not need to log in to subscriber separately from here because it is a single cluster so i will do same thing set as default i'll make it okay and i'll make it safe this one you have to do it without doing this one your ip phone will not get registered because it required the services to be communicate with the, your ip phone okay so i'll make it refresh after doing this activation i will come directly you see now it's okay fresh okay so i'll come back to the uh, cm administration and now what you will do you will connect your ip phones uh, on your network uh, pool i already assign just you need to assign the vlan of uh, uh, your uh, your voice vlan on a specific switch where your ip phones are connected and the ports should be drunk between the access and the aggregation okay just you will do this one so now i will just connect this one i'll come over see you see administration i'll come to the publisher and immediately if i am not available physically on the site i will do auto registration i will connect my ip phone uh, dsp pool is defined voice vlan is defined access switch uh, voice vlan has been defined and i will just do this one auto registration by default is disabled so i'll give this pool 1000 up to 2000 and i will ask my call manager to give auto auto Uh, extension to the ip phone so i will see my phone to be registered okay i'll do this one and same thing i will go back here uh, let me see uh, reset restart close apply config and then i'll come over here come back over here i'll go to the subscriber same thing i will do by default it is disable i'll keep starting directory make sure you have enough extension so it is 1000 already so i will save and now i will see my uh, my uh, phones are getting auto registered or not okay so i'll come in the device i'll come in the phone and let me see let's uh, give it some time okay so uh, it's taking some of the ip and it's showing first uh, rejected now my first ip phone is registered now okay so i uh, right now i have connected my three uh, phones and you see it took the ip address from the pool which i have defined 10221 uh, sorry this is my call manager it's registered with the with my subscriber okay so let's see the remaining phones okay now second phone is also registered with my uh, subscriber and the address for this one is 10221 uh, 210216.18 okay so i have attached uh, three uh, phones two has been done so i'm waiting for the third one so the third phone also showing now here it is visible so we'll see now it will be registered in the few next moments okay so finally my three ip phones are registered with my uh, subscriber and the phones has get the ip as per my pool so you see now it's get the the extension from this one so i will do one thing now i will just go back immediately to my cm group and i will 
डिसेबल द ऑटो आई विल एनेबल इट बैक ऑटो रजिस्ट्रेशन डिसेबल बिकॉज माई फोन आर रजिस्टर्ड नाउ सो अनटिल समबॉडी विल अनरजिस्टर्ड दिस विल नॉट बी अनरजिस्टर्ड एटोमेटिकली सो आई विल फिनिश दिस वन दिस वे यू कैन डू द थिंग्स फ्रॉम द रिमोट साइट इफ यू आर नॉट अवेलेबल ऑन द फिजिकली ऑन द साइट सो यू डो नॉट नीड टू हैव द द मैक एड्रेस ऑफ द of the ip phone so you will just do from here i'll come back to the subscriber and disable this one as well okay so i'll come back over here uh, let me uh, make the apply and reset restart okay so uh, both have been done now let me the cross verify okay and now i make this as a uh, disable okay it's also disable so i'll come back here phone and you will see over here my phone are unregistered and it will registered back okay you see two register look so finally my all three ip phone are registered now what i can do now i can just uh, go and change the extension because the main thing i should get the the mac address for the for the ip phone so all three are registered now i'll just go over here and i will just go over here and i will uh, change the directory as per my choice so guys you see how much it is easier to get your phone registered with the auto registration tool and how uh, what step you need to do uh, we have done our uh, episode number 8 which is the call manager uh, the ip phone registration with the call manager in the next section we will discuss about the partitions route patterns uh, css calling search space what is this one how it work we will discuss in our next upcoming episode so uh, guys please stay tuned uh, keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe and like this channel because it's it take lot of time to make something uh, result oriented for you guys and your support is always uh, appreciated so we'll see in the next episode with the partitions css and route pattern so until that time take care allah hafiz bye bye